From CBS News Election Headquarters, this is Campaign 68, the California primary, with CBS News correspondent Walter Cronkite. With, with this, with this uh, result in California tonight, uh, apparently, of Senator Kennedy coming out uh, strongly from the California race, uh, how, does, uh, how does Vice President Humphrey think that uh, Kennedy could put together a serious threat to him? Well, he doesn't really believe that practically it's going to be possible for Senator Kennedy to take away the delegates that Humphrey thinks that he has, and he feels he already has a sufficient number to win the nomination. ABC News presents Race to the White House. Complete coverage of the presidential election year 1968. Tonight, the California primary. Coverage of today's presidential primary in the Golden State. Indeed, a victory here might even be hollow for the winner. Uh, it does look like Senator Vice President Humphrey is sawing up the votes in the non-primary states. And after all, it's delegates, not people, who decide nominees. This is an NBC News special report on the California primary election. Here is NBC News correspondent Frank McGee. About all that can be said tonight is that Vice President Humphrey remains the number one candidate. Senator Kennedy is perhaps a stronger number two candidate. Senator McCarthy is perhaps a weaker number three candidate. But all three are still in the race. Much remains to be done before the convention. And According to the CBS News estimate, the Democratic delegates will arrive in Chicago lined up this way. At the outset, their votes for the most part now appear likely to be divided as follows among Vice President Humphrey, Senators Kennedy and McCarthy, and a number of favorite son candidates with support mainly in their home states. After favorite sons have withdrawn and first ballot primary commitments are eliminated, the probable lineup of delegates is this. What it looks like, therefore, at this point in the race for the Democratic presidential nomination is Humphrey on an early ballot, possibly the first. This is some of the statisticians have already figured out that, that Humphrey already has a majority either committed or practically in the bag, and it's going to be Kennedy's job now in the light of the California victory, if that's what this is, to pry some of these delegates away. It's not easy. It's not easy. Now let's go back out to California where Roger Mudd has Senator Robert Kennedy with him. Roger? This is Stephen Smith's brother-in-law. Senator, how are you? Uh, I just heard you say, Senator, that uh, without the cooperation of Senator McCarthy or his supporters and or his supporters, you thought uh, Hubert Humphrey would get the nomination. Well, I said, I, I believe I said that I thought it would be very, very difficult. I think it will be very difficult. Well, this I think that possible overture to Senator McCarthy? Well, I would like to work with those who are associated with him. Obviously, I would like to work with him personally, but I would like to work with those who are associated with him because that's the only way we're going to be successful. Otherwise, the nomination is going to go to Vice President Humphrey, and we're going to have a continuation of the policies in Vietnam and in our cities and across this country as we've had in the last three years. And I just don't believe that's acceptable. And uh, I'm very, very concerned about it. But I can only win and if I can have the help and assistance of uh, Senator McCarthy or, and or his, uh, those who have been associated with him. That I would like to have. I would, if I can gain the support of some of those who have supported Senator McCarthy, some of the citizen groups in the state who want a different direction for the United States, then I think that we have a chance of winning. If I don't gain that support, then I think it's going to be very difficult to uh, keep Vice President Humphrey from gaining the nomination for the Senate. Democratic Party. All of the information we have says that the, the bulk of the delegates to the National Convention favor Humphrey, and uh, he should uh, walk away with the nomination. Well, may I, may I try to answer that? Um, Come on. To, what, what happens in a situation like this where indeed all of our indicators demonstrate that um, Humphrey already has a sufficient number that if the convention were held today, for example, that he'd have the nomination? is that Mr. Kennedy in particular now, and Mr. McCarthy, are faced with a problem of unsticking the delegates who presumably are on Humphrey's side. Well, they have... Now that all the primaries are over, the real winner appears to be the man who did not enter them. Vice President Humphrey has seen his chief rivals knock out each other in effect, while he probably has enough delegates for nomination now. 
So the anomaly of these primaries is that while a heavy majority of the Democrats have voted against the administration in every primary we've seen except New Hampshire, the vice president has gone around collecting the delegate votes in the non-primary states and at the moment, anyway, seems headed for the nomination. We want one! We want one! How are you going to counter Mr. Humphreys and his background in the cards that delegate both the... You can just go and start to stumble. Go ahead, Bob.